Earlier on this week, I was taking the bike out for a spin. And uh, after the engine had warmed up, I found something very peculiar was happening. She was uh, basically stalling at traffic lights. Let's go on. Yeah, my bike stalled. It suddenly stopped and I couldn't start it up again. It's weird. I uh, know, it just suddenly stopped. I stopped and I'm waiting back in the next round. Like, no. So I checked the battery to make sure the battery was okay and yeah, terminals are all fine. So the second thing we're going to do now is we are going to basically use some carb cleaner from O'Reilly here. We're going to clean out the uh, idle jets. So, first of all, I'm going to take off all of these deals here. Right then. So here we are. That is filthy. That's quite a few years of uh, gunk with this well, road grime and all sorts of weather. And that really needs a clean. I think it's just a tiny spray in now. And I'll wash it out. Oh, I'm just going to put some rag underneath here. Stop the carb cleaner getting anywhere it don't need to go. But the real issue is there's a little nipple just outside there on the top side. And that needs to be cleaned out. So how we do this, we sort of get the camera in there so you can see it more. That, I don't know if you can see it. It's a little black knoblet just up there. Get a load of rag, stuff it all in there. I'm gonna throw a jet up that nozzle. process going until I'm satisfied that it's clean.
I better run down there. I'll lay down should get a new filter at some point in time. Right. I think we're doing now. So I'm going to put this bag on real quick. I'm going to fire up the engine. I'm not going to do it too tight, I just want to make sure that it's on there so it doesn't suck any more crap in when I test the engine. Definitely sounds a bit better. Take these out. Give it another clean. Stuff another rag in there. Alright, let's put this back together again. This one. Now, of course, if you've got stock uh, breather, so if you've got stock uh, air intake, then obviously it's a different process. Right, there we are, we are done. Now that should prevent this bike from stalling at gas stations or sorry, stop lights and uh, stop signs. If it continues to do it, then I'll take it into the dealership and have a moan at them. Basically something's wrong. But I think that should cover it. I'll take the bike out for a test spin at some point in time and see what happens. In the meantime, like and subscribe if you like this if you found it useful let me know all right well everyone you ride safe all of you keep your rubber side on the ground and i'll catch you all later